I'm Dr. Margie McMillan from the University of Minnesota. I'm one of the doctors here that helps take care of children with Fanconi anemia. There's a big group of us here. I'm one of the researchers and we want to thank Kids First Fund because you've helped us already make a fundamental difference in how we take care of children with Fanconi anemia. Fanconi anemia is a rare disorder. It occurs in approximately 1 in 130,000 children. But what's really fascinating about it is that what we've learned from dealing with children with Fanconi anemia and the research we do translates into other areas of medicine. And with Kids First Fund, we are actually making a difference in changing the practice of medicine, not only for Fanconi anemia patients, but for patients with breast tumors, with, with other kinds of patients that need to go through transplant. What's difficult with children with Fanconi anemia is their inherent problem is they don't repair their DNA well. What that translates to is they have a high risk of bone marrow failure and a very high risk of cancer. With the bone marrow failure, the way we deal with that is, is we do a bone marrow transplant. And it's difficult with children with Fanconi anemia because they only can handle about a fifth of the normal of chemotherapy or radiation than someone without Fanconi anemia. So to figure out how to transplant them is really, really difficult. Fifteen years ago, survival after transplant for children with Fanconi anemia was only about 20%. Now it's above 80% but it's difficult to get these patients through. We have to make it easier, and we also have to make it that 100% of the children survive transplant and survive it well and thrive after transplant. When the Fishers met me, that was what I wanted to be able to promise them for Ethan. And with your help and the help of Kids First Fund, we can give the Fishers hope, Ethan hope, and all these other families with Fanconi anemia hope that their child will survive and thrive after a bone marrow transplant. We also have to make it that the risk for cancer is lower. Currently, it's extraordinarily high, upwards of 300,000 times higher than someone without Fanconi anemia. Kids First Fund has already made a difference. We've started to fund trials that we have been working on a little bit, but with Kids First Fund, we're getting this research done faster. As you can imagine, time is never on our side. Ethan doesn't have time for us to wait to get this research done over 10 or 20 years. With Kids First Fund help, we can pull more researchers into these projects and get the answers faster. For instance, we want to be able to take a skin cell and in fact are going to be doing this for the type of Fanconi anemia that Ethan has, take a skin cell and change it and grow it so that we can actually make it into bone marrow cells. So instead of taking bone marrow from an unrelated donor, we can take the skin cell from a patient with Fanconi anemia, alter it, grow it, and hopefully in time, make it so that we can use that instead of an unrelated donor transplant. Now this research has never been done anywhere and it's going to take time and we first have to do it in mouse models. So that won't translate into humans for at least five or ten years. But excitingly, we're already making changes to how we're doing transplant in humans with Kids First Fund. We're learning how to give different cells to suppress the immune system so that children after transplant don't have so many infections and unfortunately suffer tremendously or even die from infections after transplant. We've proposed over the next two years a series of clinical trials with the help of Kids First Fund in order to speed the immune system after transplant and reduce the risk for infection. So I can't thank all of you enough because you are able with your funds that you're raising and your efforts to spread the news about the importance of Fanconi anemia research, you are able to give hope to patients and their parents and families in a way that it would not be done. And so on behalf of all of the families, I thank you because you don't necessarily hear it directly from them, the hope that you're giving them with all their children with Fanconi anemia. Here at the University of Minnesota, we have a phenomenal team to see this research to its end. 
There are other centers that can do parts of the research. Or for an analogy, they have the astronauts. They have the ability to build the spaceship, but they can't get the astronauts to the moon. We have the people, the equipment, the knowledge, the know-how, and with Kids First Fund, the ability to get the astronauts to the moon and beyond. Thank you.